Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajfri here and today I am going to discuss about planetary transits of February 2021 and how the month of February is going to unfold for us. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, that helps me a lot. And now let's see um, what's happening in the sky in the month of February 2021. The month starts with Saturn, Jupiter, Venus and Sun already posited in the sign of Capricorn in the natural 10th house and uh, retrograde Mercury moves back to Capricorn on 4th of February. Moon joins this cluster on 10th of February and will remain there uh, till approximately 2 a.m. on 12th of February. Sun breaks away from this planetary cluster on 12th of February and it goes to Aquarius. Now Venus moves to Aquarius on uh, 21st of February and Mars moves to Taurus on 22nd of February and joins Rahu there. Mercury turns direct on 21st of February. So the big event of February is six planet conjunction in the sign of Capricorn as we all know and Sun, Moon, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus and Mercury all will be present there. Mercury, I'm sorry, Mars is not taking part in this uh, conjunction. Mercury takes part as retrograde and Mars is staying put in the sign of Aries and it's very powerfully positioned as well. This entire conjunction is hemmed between Rahu and Ketu axis, that's it's within Kal Sarpa. All the planets in Capricorn are forming a trine with Rahu and it's uh, Rahu in turn is influencing all these planets. And again, you know, all these six planets are looking at the natural fourth house that is Cancer sign and therefore in addition to Capricorn, Cancer is also getting activated in, our, in all of our charts. This uh, six planet conjunction is taking place in the nakshatra of Shravana, which is a moon ruled nakshatra. Therefore, moon plays a vital role in February as well. I have made a separate video on six planet conjunction and its effects. Um, please do check out that video. I'll put that in the description box as well and you'll get to know more about how this intense energy is going to unfold for all of us. Now we all are going to get impacted because of this uh, conjunction and that is why because the planets which are taking part which are involved in this uh, six planet conjunction is somehow involved in our Mahadasha or Antardasha or in Pratyantardasha if we find it. So there will be impact on everyone, there will be impact on large scale and we are already seeing the impacts, are we not? We already are seeing some unpleasant developments in our own country, there are political crises that's taking shape in various other countries in the world and the public health is not doing great. Uh, there are re-lockdown in several countries in the world. The agitation and conflict is on the rise. Uh, this is the worst scenario and in, on personal level, what we can see is the professional development or the professional opportunities that was uh, coming our way suddenly got stalled. Financial situation, of course, is of major concern. Agitation and mental anxiety is building up in people. So all in all, it's not a great scenario. It's not a pretty scenario at all. Now, among all this, Mercury is going retrograde and for the first three weeks of the month, Mercury will remain retrograde. So we need to be extremely careful during this time because any kind of misunderstanding or miscommunication can actually trigger something really volatile during this phase. Therefore, my suggestion is to, uh, you know, keep calm at least till 21st of February and let this phase pass. Now, let us see what is there for 12 ascendants in the month of February. 
and take these predictions as a guideline for this month. The real result will of course vary with your current Mahadasha, Antardasha and of course your karmic footprint. Aries, your sign Lord Mars is powerfully placed in your sign till 22nd of February. The sixth planet cluster is taking place in your karma house. You will see a lot of activity and possible confusion related to your profession. Your social status will go up. New avenues of earnings will open up as well. For the first three weeks, your confidence level will be very high. There are chances of travel as well. From mid-month, you will see a rise in your earnings. This is also a very good time for spirituality. You will connect well with various uh, social groups for social causes and keep a check on your way of speaking in the last week of February. There will be some confusion and possibility of conflicts in the family matters. Be careful of health issues and injuries too. Taurus your sign Lord Venus will be in your house of luck and fortune with five other planets. February on the whole will be productive month for you, particularly the second half. Prosperity, travel, rise in luck factor and progress in work area all are indicated for you. Because of the sixth planet conjunction in your ninth house, you may feel overwhelmed with the advices that's coming your way. And there may be some contradictory thoughts about the traditional belief system and culture. Your father's health may cause concern as well. You may not agree with the mentors and teachers as well. So take care of your health and excessive expenditure in the last week of February. Gemini. Your sign Lord Mercury will be in your house of transformation with five other planets. This can cause some concern. You may feel uncomfortable throughout the month because all these planets somehow prompt to bring out all that you would like to keep under wrap. This month will be good if you are in research or engaged in astrology or in occult subjects. Overall, you need to be careful about joint finance with your spouse, your own health and mental well-being. Mental anxiety will be there. There can be gain from inheritance or insurance. Spouse's health will need care. Try to keep your relation with your in-laws cordial. Expenses will be high in the last week of the month. There can be travel as well. Try to keep your calm this month. The last week looks slightly better for you. Cancer Your Ascendant Lord Moon is taking part in the sixth planet conjunction in the house of partnership and spouse. Yogacharaka planet Mars is placed in your house of profession and then moving to the house of earning and desire fulfillment. Professionally, this month looks very good for you. New partnerships, Travel opportunities will knock at your door, but do use your judgment and take your time to evaluate it carefully. Your personal life does not look as good though. Too many external forces are trying to destabilize your personal life in February. So be careful about your relation with your spouse. There can be some health problems to him or her too. Finances will see some ups and downs in the second part of the month and take care of tax and insurance related matters. Avoid unnecessary travels this month. Leo, your ascendant Lord Sun is taking part in the sixth planet conjunction in the house of job, diseases, competition and loan. Your work and profession gets highlighted this month. You will do well in job and overcome all oppositions in February. At the same time, avoid ego hassles and conflicts in your job area. Do not take any loan. This month may cause concerns about finances and health. Professionally better time come in the last week of February. There can be new business opportunities and partnerships as well. Spouse's health and relation with him or her will cause concern.
Keep your communication with your spouse and business partners clear and precise. Some issues related to your children can crop up. Try to avoid any conflict with your romantic partner. Virgo Your ascendant Lord Mercury will be retrograde till 21st of February and will take part in the sixth planet conjunction in the house of your creativity, romance and children. You may find some confusion and disturbance created uh, related to these areas. Your creative side will flourish but you may not be able to find the right channel to express it. There can be gains from inheritance or insurance. You need to be careful of getting injured. Children related worries or their health issues may disturb you. In the last week of the month, you may find amicable ways to deal with your opponents. Work atmosphere will also improve. Relation with your spouse and spouse's health will need care in the last week of the month. There can be trouble in travel. Your father's health will need care during the last week. You need to be cautious in February. Libra The sixth planet conjunction is taking place in the house of comfort and property. Your ascendant Lord Venus is taking part in this conjunction. In February, your domestic life, mental peace, mother and property related matters will take center stage. Professionally, February is good month as well. You may want to set up home office or consider working from home. Some of you may also come back to homeland because of your work. The last week of February is excellent for people in creative fields, for romance and for students. There will be gain too. You need to take care of your health particularly in the last week. There may be fever or inflammations or, or injuries. Spouse's health or cordiality with the spouse will need to take care too. Scorpio. The sixth planet conjunction is taking place in your house of self-effort, short travels and siblings. You may want to start your own venture and there can be various options for that too. Take your time to decide carefully. There will be chances of short and foreign travel as well. Professionally, you will do well with hard work, particularly in the second half of the month. Be careful of what you write or communicate to avoid any kind of misunderstandings. Try to keep cordiality with your siblings and your neighbors and take care of your health till the last, I'm sorry, third week of the month. Loans may get approved this month. Relationship with your spouse will be slightly tense. There may be marriage alliance for you, uh, for the right kind of people, of course. And during the last week, you may spend on home improvement. There can be some spending on your mother's health as well. The last week of the month will be good for you in most of the matters. Sagittarius. The sixth planet conjunction is taking place in your house of family and wealth. Your sign Lord Jupiter is debilitated there too. Jupiter remains combust till 5th of February. Uh, all in all, finances and family both will demand your attention. You need to exercise caution related to your health, finances and children till 5th February. Try to be cordial in your way of speaking. Conflicts in the family may erupt related to wealth and joint finances. Professionally, this month will be quite good for you. You may receive very good news related to your work. You may take loans during this time. Try to control any aggressive behavior towards your children or your romantic partner. Your relationship with your spouse will improve. Travel and entertainment are forcing in the last week of the month. There can be worries related to children's health. There can be some setback in your romantic life. Now take care of your health and mental anxiety. Stomach related issues may bother you. You also need to curb your expenses. Capricorn 
the sixth planet conjunction is happening in your ascendant you need to exercise caution in every respect this month although saturn is providing solid support to you and increasing your confidence level there are indications of confusion related to your life path your temper can flare up as well chances of health issues and high expenditure are there too first 3 weeks of the month are favorable for property matters you may have to face some issues in the home front as well mental peace may be affected your mother's health will need attention in first 3 weeks uh, you may gain from speculative sources in the last week of the month there will be a lot of out of the box creativity in you which is a very good part in this month children related issues will be there in the last week of february there may be conflicts or uncontrolled passion in in romantic relation there can be possibility of marriage for the right people so all in all capricorn do exercise caution and remain calm in in this month aquarius the sixth planet conjunction is happening in your house of liberations spirituality charity expenditure and foreign connections this month is marked by high expenditure there can be mental anxiety and sleeplessness as well the planets here indicate it is high time for you to understand the importance of your spiritual self first 3 weeks will be good for starting a new venture you will succeed with hard work and self efforts travel will be there but some issues during the travel can also crop up your own health and your spouse's health will need attention in the middle of the month you will find that you are feeling more charitable you will connect with others for social causes some property related matters will need attention in the last week of the month so throughout the uh, throughout february there can be some dissatisfaction related to your profession and home front both Uh, there is one good thing about aquarius and that is if you are connected to uh, foreign countries uh, due to your profession or any other way this month will bring you some good news lastly pisces the sixth planet conjunction is happening in your house of income gain and ambition fulfillment your sign lord jupiter is debilitated in this house overall this will be a positive transit for you you may face some issues related to your friends and social circle but you will gain new friends too foreign connections will give you gain this month if you are in export import business you will do really well earnings and gains from various sources are indicated for you in february children may cause some worries your studies may be disturbed as well you may also get a job with a foreign employer in the second half of the month the last week of the month may bring some problems with your siblings and neighbors father's health may cause concern in the last week as well and in the second half of the month there can be high expenditure related to health now thank you so much for watching my video hope you all liked it enjoyed it and if you like please do share it and uh, subscribe to my channel as well if you want a consultation from me you can reach me at mohanaastrology@gmail.com you can find all the relevant information related to consultation in my website which is www.mohanaastrology.com and stay safe stay calm let this phase pass and may god bless us all thank you so much